G'day guys, my name is Tony and I'm at your line Shark V Australia and this is Hardcore Geology. talking about stromatolites. So what are stromatolites? Stromatolites are among the world's oldest fossils, some of which are over 3.5 billion years old. Stromatolites are structures formed by colonies of cyanobacteria, formerly called blue-green algae. Now they contributed directly to its formation of the Earth's atmosphere and the reason why it's habitable today. In addition to fossilized form, a colony of living stromatolites around 5,000 years old was found right here in Shark Bay, Australia. This was back in 1956 and it is now a world heritage site. So, stromatolites, how do they form? That's what you're wondering, right? Stromatolites are formed by prokaryotic cyanobacteria. Now, prokaryotic organisms are single cell organisms that don't got no nucleus. Prokaryotic organisms are considered to be the most oldest living organisms on Earth. Prokaryotic bacteria form an important part of the world's biomass today, especially in the oceans. Now they play an important role in reducing carbon dioxide levels and emit oxygen in exchange. Now why are shark based stromatolites so important? Now they're significant because they represent a major stage in the Earth's evolutionary history. When the stromatolites were discovered by scientists in 1956, they were the first ever recorded examples of the structure previously found only in fossils in ancient rocks. Although shark based stromatolites are 2,000 to 3,000 years old, the cyanobacteria found in them are similar to life forms that were found on Earth 3.5 billion years ago. This means that stromatolites are modern day examples of pre Cambrian times. Back then, the atmosphere only contained 1% oxygen, so then the cyanobacteria dominated the primordial seas, and after 500 million years, 20% of the Earth was covered in oxygen, allowing dinosaurs to grow massive. What do stromatolites really look like? So stromatolites are a cross between a cauliflower and a rock. However, unlike rocks, they are actually alive. Living, breathing rocks. Each stromatolite has a top surface layer teeming with living, active cyanobacteria. At least 300 million cyanobacteria can fit in one square meter because the cyanobacteria are plants that photosynthesize the energy from the sun and the byproduct of this photosynthesis is oxygen. And if you look very carefully at some stromatolites, you can actually see fizzing as tiny bubbles of oxygen are released by the cyanobacteria into the water. The size and shape of the stromatolites are thought to be influenced by the immediate environment. Large mushroom shaped stromatolites are found in places where tides and small waves approach from different directions. Loaf shaped stromatolites are found in protected areas closer to the shore because cyanobacteria need that sunlight to photosynthesize. So for example, the stromatolites in the Hamlin pool do not form in water deeper than 4 meters where there is less light. Another reason why stromatolites are so important is that they provide a record for the local environmental changes but even in the Earth's evolution as a planet. Now the sediment layers accumulate in fine concentric bands like growth rings on a tree. So cross sections of ancient stromatolite reveal beautiful layers of fossilized sediment. Stromatolite growth is controlled by the tides, temperature and sunlight. Some scientists believe that sediment layer reflects the changes in the Earth's rotation on its axes. In this way, the stromatolites of Shark Bay provide a unique insight into life and the dawn of time. This has been some hardcore geology. Don't leave this video for granted. Give it a thumbs up. And here is the joke of the day.